Right now, another brutal attack in Ybor City that left a South Tampa man unconscious last month. News Channel 8's Ryan Hughes is live along 7th Avenue tonight with more on this ongoing story. Ryan. And good evening. The man left this venue, the Ritz Ybor, and he doesn't remember much more. Peter Reber was all smiles at a Saturday night masquerade ball in Ybor City. On Sunday, this is how he looked. The injuries that I uh, sustained are in line with what would be considered uh, being attacked. Uh, I had beatings across the back of my head. I had two black eyes. I have a broken nose. The victim tells me he left the event and woke up roughly seven hours later, bloodied and bruised in this alley. He doesn't remember anything about the attack. I had my necklace, my wallet, my phone, my watch, and my shoes taken from me. As well as his sense of security. I never felt safe, and I haven't felt safe in Ybor City for a long time. Mr. Reber did get with us and, and tell us that he was uh, robbed and that he was um, basically beaten up. Tampa police have investigated at least three similar incidents in Ybor in as many weeks, but don't think they're connected. Last weekend, Dustin Lowe was savagely beaten when he left his job at the Stone Soup Company. Surveillance video captured the attackers. Police don't plan to add more patrols. We have a pretty good presence down in uh, down in Ebor on those days. Um, we adjust those things as we need to. Will you visit Ebor again? Honestly, unless it was for another fundraiser, I I'm staying away from Ebor. And police at this hour are still working on all three cases. Josh. All right, Ryan, he was live for us in Ebor City. Ryan, thank you.